I gotta say something before the video starts. Do you guys want two of these a day? Because right now, I'm, I'm a little unsure how much you guys really like this segment, man. So if you really want to get two of these music highlights a day, you gotta let me know by that like button, man. I'm sorry, I know it sounds so stereotypical, or every YouTuber says that, but hey, if you can give me 500 likes on this video and the other ones that I get, then you'll get two of these uploads a day. Quite simple. E equivalent exchange. Hmm? Hmm? It's not like I'm just asking for 500. I'm going to give you something too. What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here to bring you some more of our Pokemon Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire music highlight where we look at music from Ruby and Sapphire and we break down what's the best of the best in our hype levels considering that it is going to be remade for the new games in November. Now I'm going to be changing things up a little bit so pay attention here but basically the way I chose the winners for who I would get the music reviews done for before were through random lottery but from now on no longer will it just be random lottery but also depending on how many thumbs up that that person's comment gets so for example the winner today is Timothy Berry and Timothy Berry his comment got 56 thumbs up I'm not saying that I'm only going to like do the music suggested by people who get 56 plus but if you get a lot of thumbs up on your comment then I'll obviously see it better and I'll know people want to see me highlight that music and therefore I'll do it in that way. So, um, yeah, if you guys see, see a comment already that is um, promoting a song that you want me to highlight already, then just leave a thumbs up. You don't necessarily have to comment yourself, but just leave a thumbs up on the song if you want, or just say a song that you want as well. And the second thing, another thing. Now, I know that I usually do the music from Ruby and Sapphire, and then I do a remix in the video afterwards, but a lot of you guys have been telling me, oh, the remixes you haven't been using are that good. So, if you comment a song that you want, right? Comment the remix as well with it. So, for example, if I wanted to do the trainer battle theme, I would say, yo, Etika, do the trainer battle theme, and then listen to this remix of the trainer battle theme in your video, so this way I can we can see what you think of this, rather than me finding some random remix that you may have not necessarily thought that was close enough to the song or something. So, comment below your, the song that you want me to highlight and the remix that you like of that song that you want me to highlight in the video as well. That way things are a little bit more... Uh, they're a little bit better for you guys, you know, I'm trying to make things more engaging for you dudes. And also, leave thumbs up on comments that you like, the suggestion of the music to highlight, and I'll highlight it, man. And Timothy Berry, 56 thumbs up, man, you can't argue with that. Anyways, Timothy suggests the Sky Pillar music, and I absolutely totally forgot what this music sounds like in the game. So I'll be listening to this to, for the first time in a long time. I'm ready, let's go. Uh, wait, whoops. Yeah, it's the, it's the birthday of the Rubik's Cube today, huh? Weird. Oh, I know this. What <laughs> the fuck am I doing? <laughs> yeah, I remember this shit. Oh, man. I, I love the part when it goes like... Oh, wait, wait. I'll show you my favorite part. I'll show you my favorite part. This reminds me... You niggas, do you niggas remember when you would be in the tower and you had to get to the top to get Rayquaza, but you had to use the mock bike to get over the holes? That was one of the most annoying dungeons in any Pokemon game I've ever played, man. I love this part. I totally... <laughs> this song is great, though. I love it. A lot of frustrating memories, man. That's why I thought of the tower, because, like, I just remember falling in those holes so goddamn much. It infuriated me to no end. I, I, I can see a remake of this being amazing. This part. All right. Okay. 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 Ah! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> yes, I love it. <laughs> that last part that is sick <laughs> that is damn sick hype levels at like 7.5 out of 10 7.5 out of 10 man like 
that that song, I don't know, man. I get a really strong vibe of like they'll remake that, and it'll sound extremely good. Like I, I, I don't know. I mean, a lot. Of, I guess it sounds generic. I feel like I'm saying that for a lot of these songs, but that's just how I feel, man. I mean, I think this one can be really well done. I mean, I just. I just don't know, because like when they remake the songs, usually sometimes they go a different way than how the original went. It all depends, man. It all depends. But I, I'm expecting something big from that one, man. You know, like the original song, like I guess I determine if it's good or not just by how good the original song is. And the original song has a lot of instruments going, man, and the sound is unique, and it kind of gives you like a little bit of an epic feel. Like you feel like you're in a fucked up tower with holes in it. <laughs> Anyways, now let's look up a remix of this theme and see what someone else's rendition of this theme would sound like with better instruments and whatnot. And once again, we got the Pocket Remix Studio. This guy is everywhere, but you know, but I'm not surprised considering that he is one of the most prestigious remixes out there for Pokemon music. Let's see what his in let's see what his take on the music sounds like. Pocket Remix Studio, man. You can't fuck with this guy's beats, man. I'm sorry. You just can't. Okay. Very odd start, but I'm feeling it. You can tell the beat's gonna drop in this shit. You can, you can tell. You can totally tell. Yo, I love that that line in the back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> it's like an electronic. Like I don't know. Is that electric? I think I think that's electronic right there. Oh shit. Sound. It's good on the ears, man. You hear it back and forth in the headphones. Alright. This is different. I like it. Alright, he's definitely derivating from the original. But, I mean, it sounds good, though. It sounds really good. You really can't sleep on this dude Poké Remix Studio, man. You really, like, his beats, they mix up at any given moment, man. You can't sleep. I like that. Mmm, I like that. That's, that's sufficient. I love it. Woo! Will you mix that with the, with the, with the, with the hum in the background? That, that's a nice sound. When when you mix that hum with the <clears throat> with the hum, that that damn, this is such a funky remix. Uh, usually I don't listen to the whole thing, but I'm I'm gonna listen to the whole thing of this. Hey. <laughs> I don't know what kind of sound this is, like, 
Uh, is it like electronic? I think it's electronic, but I don't, I don't know for a fact. But I, I don't know too much about music to like be able to point out where certain genres create sounds. Like, you know, I just, I just can't. Something tells me, with the way Poker Remix Studios is, this dude's gonna break it down before the song ends. He's about to break this shit down. He's about to. Trust me, I, I can feel it coming, man. Whoa. Come on, man. Don't, don't fail me now, man. Break it down. Break it down, dude. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, all right. It might just fade out. Oh man, I was hoping you would break it down. Oh well. I mean, hey, still funky. All right. So. I don't know. I mean, that that that's an amazing remix. I'll I'll give it that. You know, I mean, like that's the thing though. When you consider the fact that most of the remixes that other people do, they're not exactly striving to remake the song as much as they're trying to just revamp it. You know, so I mean, I I really couldn't imagine like the Sky Pillar theme being remade to sound somewhat like that, or I mean, even if it comes close. But I mean, he still has a very interesting take on it, and like adding those those sounds to it, like the, the, those kind of like robotic sounds, it, it gave it an interesting feeling. And the songs, with the way the song's tunes work, they could go well with that kind of sound, no problem. But I just don't think that it'll be something in the remake. But this, this is amazing though, because it really gets to show you how certain people perceive the way that the songs sound, you know, I mean, or how they can like make them differ from the original. It, it, it's quite amazing to see, you know, and PRS, he's not PRS, Poké Remix Studios. I'm, I, that sounds kind of like a disease, but I mean, PRS, he, he's definitely good at what he does, man. This is, my hype levels, they're still like a, maybe like an 8 out of 10 right now, but um, I see that they have a lot of potential for this song. They have so much headroom to make that a classic hit in these remakes, and I can't wait to see what they do with it. Um, but I want you guys to tell me, what songs do you want me to highlight in the next video? Which do you think will sound the best when they're remade in Michael Ruby and Alpha Sapphire? You gotta let me know in those comments, man. But I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.